Hello and welcome back to the Intuitive Ones channel here on TikTok and the Black Queen Prophetess channel on YouTube tab. Oh, I'm coming with the reading of the day right after a good workout. I think that is, you know, really good early in the morning to get out and just get your blood pumping. It starts your day so wonderfully, okay? Try not to get too early because sometimes if you wake up, I mean, once you do a workout, it's like having uh, the strongest cup of joe coffee for some of y'all don't know what that old saying is means but um get an old cup of dough it's like it's better than that it gets your blood pumping you know with the attitude of gratitude and before the sun comes up and mm, and if you do it right before the sun comes up it's such a beautiful sight if you go outside to do your exercises or you're in the exercise room where you can see the sunrise is just the absolute beautiful sight to see and to open your morning up with. So um, without any further ado, I'm doing the reading of the day. And the reading of the day is Aries. I'll be doing a nine card cardinancy read for you Aries. So let's go ahead and get into it after I told you about my good workout, <laughs> okay? My morning routine. And start your um, reading off with a prayer. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. I yield myself to you to receive and convey the message you have for Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Thank you for your message. Thank you for using me. And I pray that my words reach those who need to hear it. Correct, heal, comfort, confirm. All in love. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Ooh, child. Some of you Aries are probably getting into your exercise routine or doing stuff to kind of better your life to be war ready, okay? You got to understand, you Aries are the gods of war, okay? And y'all always ready. You all, you stay ready. You stay ready. And staying fit is a part of staying ready. That's what I heard as I was praying for you. Okay, so far there's two cards that's come out. Both of them are represented by water. Both of them are hearts. The first card that came out is the two of hearts that is representative of a relationship or some type of partnership, some type of balance in relationships, in love, or in your feelings, okay? Or balancing your feelings. The second one is the eight of hearts. So there may, hearts is, is likened to cups in the tarot. So it's not just your feelings, but it's also offers. The cup usually holds something, and usually in the tarot, you see like there's either cups being offered or before them, um, and cups hold something. It holds water. It holds liquid. It holds your feelings. So um, someone is really either in their feelings or you're about to have an abundance of offers here, maybe some love offerings here. Okay, and the love offering, I'm hearing that it doesn't necessarily mean romantic love offerings. It could be a family member offering love to you, showing love to you, or your family really coming through when you need them. You know what I'm saying? Because Aries, you've been a good man, Savannah. <laughs> okay, 
you've been good. You you are good friends. In my experience, Aries are really good friends. Okay. And they will let you know when you're wrong. They'll have your back in public, but they privately, they will say, don't you ever put me in that type of situation again. They will never do, I won't say they won't never, but for the most part, Aries, in my experience, will never um, turn on you in public. You know what I'm saying? If they really love you, they really care for you, they're never going to say it to you in public. They're going to defend you to the end in the public. But when they get home, they're going to rip you a new one. And they're going to tell you you was wrong. I'm just saying. Those are the type of friends you are. But you're still down for them. You still care about them. Um, and you might be ripped, they might rip you a new one, but it's because they love you. Okay. Seven of diamonds came out, which is, um, it might be some financial improvement. That might be where your friends are helping out. Your friends and family are helping you out financially. You know what I'm saying? Cause they can't stand to see you in the situation, but we shall see. We still got the full story to come out. You got the nine of clubs that came out here that oh, I'm hearing for some of you, if it hasn't happened already, um, you may be coming to an end of a project or a job or a gig and um, you're going to need to rely on your friendships. To help you get through, because this, you might have an ebb coming. Okay. Mm hmm. Your center card is this Cancer energy with this Queen of Hearts. Okay. This is a married woman. This is a nurturing, this is a mother, this is a grandma. Mm hmm. Uh,. This is an auntie. So that tells me that there's going to be a lot of family that's going to surround you in this time. Okay? That is going to show love for you. They're not going to let you drown, Aries. They're not going to let you drown because you've been a good, you've been a good friend. You're a good person. You're a sweet person. Now, don't be on their bad side, okay? Because they will fight you, <laughs> okay? They're friends. They will fight their friends, okay? And y'all will make up later, but they will fight you, okay? Three of hearts. Okay, and normally this is a love triangle, but this is also a friendly third party. So not only is your family got your back, but you got someone else coming in, showing you love. And I don't know how you need this love, but they are showing you love. If that is helping you out financially, helping you pay a bill. Um, I know this sounds crazy. I, I know this sounds crazy, but maybe not too crazy for an Aries. But putting money on your books, for those of you that are in prison or in jail, you're going to have an abundance of someone showing you love by putting money on your books, giving you gifts through the commissary. Trust me, I know. I've had my son stay for a while in and out of jail, and I remember sending him packages with this and that and the third he said oh we don't get this so i i would pay for him to get like a snack packet which had some of his favorite snacks in it underwear socks you know because they don't be they don't give them underwear in jail maybe in prison but not in jail you know what i'm saying and uh, for the ladies, they don't give you your favorite pass. Maybe someone is giving, just showing you love like that because you're just a good person. 
okay? You have the seven of hearts here. So um, for some of you, it is an improvement. It's showing that you've been working towards a relationship. You've been really nurturing your relationships out here, Aries. You've been there for a lot of people. You've held them down, and it's coming back to you, okay? It's coming back to you. In droves, you sowed really good seed when it comes to friendship and family. And now it's coming back like a, a, a full harvest of your garden that you sowed these seeds into people's lives. Aries, you're just getting so much love from your community. So much love from your community. It's beautiful, actually. Uh, six of diamonds. Somebody's taking on financial responsibility. Someone's signing for you to get something. They're putting something in their name so that you can have something. I mean, you know, they understand sometimes you go through hard times. And it's, it's just hard. And um, you may have lost your job. You may have or come to the end of this project that you're doing or something is coming to an end and there's so much water and emotions and love going towards you, okay? And I'm feeling like either in the spirit or in the physical earth, still in this earth suit, a grandmama, a mother, a auntie that is like getting people together, getting the community together, getting your family together, say like, hey, Aries need help, okay? Um, we need to do for her or do for him what he's always done for everybody else. It's time for us to support her or him, okay? You had two cards that came out for your outcome. You have a new job, so maybe some of your friends are getting together to get you a new sort, not a new source of income, but something else to do or getting you a new project to do or a new job. And then you have five of diamonds. The outcome is people spending money on you. Because you're worth it. You're good. You are really good. And this is what you deserve. Okay? Now, don't do that fake humble mess and say, oh, no, no, no. I don't need it. I don't. You better receive all this love that is coming towards you. Because you deserve it. You really do, Aries. Okay, accept it in love. Okay, um, just accept it in love. This is all what is due you. People have seen you, they have appreciated you, and they are going to show their love. And it's not always going to be in a material thing, it may be just being there. Um, maybe you're sick. Or maybe, I don't see any type of sick card type of situation. Maybe someone is using their food stamps to buy your food. Because that's all that they can give for you. You know, but take that. And eat them crab legs in style. Okay? <laughs> that's if you like crab legs or not allergic to it. So, um, just receive it and enjoy it. These are seeds that you have sown that have come up to feed you in your time of need. You all have a good one, Aries. I, am, I feel good. I said, I don't got Aries in my chart. Do I got something? <laughs> you know, I actually do, but it's not in a prominent area that I would think that I would, this would relate to me. So, um, at any rate, you all have a good one, Aries, and I hope you this helped you out. Um, I hope it resonated with you. If it did, you know, of course, give me the heart on TikTok. You know, like, share, subscribe this video. 
if someone just needs this word. All right. You all have a good one and peace.